Hey, what's going on? It's your boy ADR back with another video, and today I'm bringing you guys a build video on one of my favorite players in the league. Even though I'm pretty sure he's going to be stealing the Rookie of the Year award away from, from my team's rookie, I completely understand it. He is a GOAT player. He is doing things inside the NBA that I have not seen other players do. He is coming in the NBA with such confidence that I have not seen before. He is out here trying to end people's careers, and it's only his first year on the court. This is the first time he's playing in the nba and you guys have to understand the jump from college to nba is very very substantial you are playing against kids in college you go against grown men in the nba but to see him still come in on his first year and do the things that he's doing i cannot lie it is super super impressive so before we get into the build i want to go over a couple important things inside his game that we go and look and break down so we can understand john Morant better and how to create his build the best way possible because that's the whole goal of so John Morant coming from Mari State University is 6'3 and weighs 175 pounds, plays the point guard position, and this guy is an athletic demon for his size. He has a 44 inch vertical, so he could jump out the gym. And this guy's hop game is crazy. We we seen what he tried to do to Kevin Love. Come on. <laughs> we can't forget those. This is Vince Carter over Frederick Weiss almost. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, just the, the intent. He sees him standing there. It's like, so what you're standing? From the dotted line, look at that. Forget that. And for having such good vertical and ducking ability and able to finesse his way around the rim as, as well as he can, you would think that he basically just is that. But no, he is also a knockdown shooter, shooting 36% from the field this year, which is just mind-blowing because it is so hard to guard this bit and he's like he's only a rookie he's only going to get better so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this build i saw one hand got john moran pulled up some of my player build for you guys so it could be the most realistic experience as i could probably make it all right so for the pie chart for jaw moran this was honestly one of the hardest decisions for me to make because i was stuck between two pie charts the shooting and slashing pie chart and the playmaking and slashing pie chart okay because inside 2k20 you don't need a high three point to be able to shoot con uh, consistently and it would kind of make sense to go with the shooting and slashing pie chart because you can shoot consistently with the 64 three point if i wanted to just go that and not change anything else you could shoot consistently with that and once you hit 99 you have a 68 three point that's even better and you will have the 99 speed too and that's really why I wanted to go this one. But I did decide to go with the shooting and slashing pie chart. I want this pie chart just because I want it to be as realistic as I can with the stats for John Morant. So I decided to go with this pie chart right here. And honestly, it's really not a bad pie chart. And now for the physical profile. Also, <laughs> I had a problem with this one too. It was either between two options right here. John Morant, super fast. We know this. So I could either go just the basic speed pie chart, but his vertical, his he jumps out the gym. So it was either this one or this one. And I decided to go with the speed and vertical pie chart just because he's super fast and he could jump super high. You got to have both. If you just have one or the other, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's really not John Morant. So I decided to go with the speed and vertical pie chart. And now for the stats, close shot, come on, you gotta max those out. Driving layup, max it out. Driving dunk, max it out. Standing dunk, max it out. Cause it doesn't go that high anyways. And it gives you more badges. So we take those. And now for the shooting, you wanna go ahead and max out the mid range, max out three point, max out free throw. And then bring the post fade to a 78. All right, cause he doesn't take that many post fades. And honestly, ancient shooting badges is all you need for real inside this game. Passing accuracy, we're gonna go in and max it out. Bring the ball handling and max it out. And it's only 82 ball handling, so he cannot momentum off rip yet. Once you hit 99, in which most people will, he will be able to momentum off rip. And we leave the post moves alone. I'm not gonna touch those. We don't we need those. And now for his defense. This was kind of hard for me because honestly. John Morant, I'm not trying to be a, I'm not trying to be ass. So his defense is it's not really the best. It can be improved, 
but his perimeter defense is high his interior defense is assassinated so we're not even going to touch that lateral quickness max it out he's a very very fast player steals i went ahead and maxed it out just because even uh, it was more the steals i maxed out more for the badges and just because inside 2k20 and inside real life you do get those lucky plucks and a 77 steal is basically is basically high enough for you to get one or two lucky plucks maybe inside one to <laughs> every couple your defense basically just isn't going to be that well on this build so you want to at least be able to get steals because you're not going to be able to stop them down low your primary defense is just average so you want to go ahead and max out the steal and now for the last 30 points i went ahead and put that all into defensive rebound because he does get three rebounds a game and basically all of them are off of defensive rebounds he never gets offensive rebounds because he carries the offense so you know because <laughs> he takes most of the offensive shots so he would basically have to chase every single rebound if he shoots and yeah, you know how that goes so this is the attributes for the john moran build and to me i think they fit him really well i feel like the badge is laid out perfectly for this build too so this build in my honest opinion you could probably make this better but to be john moran uh it's pretty good in my opinion and to i could probably hit the park with this build if i wanted to make this build and grind out this build this build would be a demon in the park for real for real all right so we're gonna go 6-3 because he is 6-3 weight you're gonna go minimum weight because he's actually even less weight than this in real life but this is as low as you can get it and it does give you a faster acceleration and a higher vertical and we take those and now for the wingspan john moran actually does have a decently long wingspan for his height and his size so i went ahead and went only one tick down instead of going minimum wingspan because when you go one tick down once you hit 97 overall you can basically momentum off rip and it still gives you a pretty decent wingspan so you can go to hit more contested layups and more cheesy shots because your arms are longer and this right here was really really hard for me okay so john Morant is a offensive demi so they obviously gave you the choice of four takeovers i could choose four of them so obviously it was kind of hard <laughs> so what i did to choose the most efficient takeover was actually look at his games look at his iro games and and look at the shots that he took when he was inside quote unquote takeover iro takeover which is basically like a clutch moment or shots that he likes to take when he's on a hot streak and when i was looking at his film and all of those i came down to two takeovers that i can maybe give him it was either shot creator takeover or slasher takeover and why shot creator takeover because he does take leaning shots and some acrobatic shots so the shot creator takeover could work but i decided to go with the slashing takeover because two things you're extremely fast with the um shot creator takeover and you could hit more bullshit layups and for real, for real john moran is a fucking cheater <laughs> i don't know how he hits these layups i don't know how he hits some of the shots that he hits but i decided to go with the cheesiest takeover in the game and it does suit him well too because john moran is just I'm, I'm telling you guys he is a cheat code like i roll cheat code i'm obviously gonna go with the slashing takeover and i get the all around threat build and as you guys can see at the bottom right there jaw morant derrick rose and and jamal murray honestly those similarities are goaded <laughs> for real for real. those similarities are goaded but you guys can see right there it says john morant because this build is literally john morant so if you guys fuck with this video and you guys want to see more like this go on and drop a comment like and sub to the channel too if you fuck with me and the content that i'm putting out i'm gonna be trying to upload more consistently i've been just kind of doing other shit and blah 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 i'm not gonna talk about that but you know hey it's your buddy or i suck at outros and i'm out
glass bones. I'm smoking dope, but I'm smoking the bones. I don't really wanna get in your phone. Sip lean up, play beer pong. Kick down my body. I be kick down my body. I be kick down my body. I be kick down my. I be kick down my body.